Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello, my lovely learners. It's so exciting to have you again for this lesson. You are still tuned into Manifested e-learning platform. We are still learning hygiene and nutrition activities for grade two. We had started on a new topic, keeping water safe. So for this lesson, we are going to learn ways in which you can tell that this is contaminated water. So welcome to the lesson. Still learning keeping water safe. So keeping water safe. In our last lesson, we learned about ways in which you can contaminate water and we discussed water contamination. So let's start by defining water contamination. Water contamination. Now, to contaminate something is to make something look dirty. For this case, it is water. Now, water contamination. What is water contamination? Water contamination is making clean water dirty so water contamination water contamination is making clean water dirty water contamination is making clean water dirty now how does contaminated water look like contaminated water Contaminated water has dirt particles that particles are harmful harmful objects. Contaminated water has dirt particles or harmful objects. Now, dirt particles can be particles of soil or stones. Harmful objects, you can have small pieces of paper in the water. That one will tell us that the water is not safe for us to drink. Now, how, can we, how do we contaminate water? Ways in which we can contaminate water. ways in which we contaminate water. Ways in which we contaminate water. These are ways that we, we the things that we do that can make water dirty. What are some of these activities that we can involve in which will lead to us contaminating water? The first one is uh, washing clothes in the river. Washing clothes in a river. This is the first way in which we can contaminate water. We are not supposed to wash clothes from a river, 
but instead you fetch water from the river then you wash your clothes from home another way in which you can contaminate water is eh, going for a long call or short call near a river going for a long call or short call near a river we are not supposed to go for our short calls or, lo or long calls near a river but instead make sure you are using the toilet or the urinal urinals are used by boys and men so going for a long call or short call near a river is a way of contaminating water another one is taking animals to the river taking animals So taking animals to the river should drink water. We have domestic animals at home, the cows, the sheep, the goats. If you, are, if you want to give your animals water, instead of taking them to the river, go and fetch the water then give them while they are at home. Because when you take the animals to the river, animals can, can even datify water. They just long call and short call in the river. They don't reason like human beings. Point number four, swimming in a river. Swimming in a river. We are supposed to swim in a swimming pool and not a river. Then throwing pepper. Throwing papers in water. Throwing papers in water can contaminate water. Number six, putting soil, putting soil in water. So putting soil in water, when you put soil in water, you are contaminating the water and therefore it is not safe for us to drink. So these are ways in which you can contaminate water. Remember water contamination is making water dirty. So for this lesson, we want to see how you can be able to tell that this is contaminated water. How to tell that water is contaminated? How to tell that water is contaminated? How will you be able to know that? this water is contaminated. Now contaminated water has a different color. Remember water is a colorless, it has no color. So contaminated water can have a dark color. That color is a different color from what the water looks like. So number one, contaminated water
can have a dart color. A dart color. A dart color means it look the water looks dirty. Now I have contaminated water here in a glass and I have clean water in a jug. Now the water that is in the jug is colorless. That tells us that water should be colorless. The water that is in, in the glass has some color. Now this color is a dark color. It is not clear as the clean water. This one means the water in the glass is contaminated while the water that is in the jug is clean because it is very clear it has no dirt particles in it while this one has a different color so contaminated water has a dirt color then contaminated water contaminated water has that particles as that particles are harmful objects contaminated water has that particles or harmful objects you can go to fetch water from a container but you see that the water has some particles or harmful objects. It means that water is not safe for you to drink or use it. It is contaminated. Another way in which you can tell that water is contaminated is that the water has a bad smell. So, contaminated Contaminated water can have can have a bad smell. Contaminated water can have a bad smell. Water does not have any smell. So when you go and drink water and the water has a bad smell, just know that the water is not safe for you to drink. So these are some of the ways in which you can tell that water is contaminated. The first one is contaminated water can have a dark color. The second one, contaminated water has dark particles or harmful objects. And lastly, contaminated water can have a bad smell. Now contaminated water is not good for our health. Contaminated water is not good for our health. Why is it not good for our health? When you drink dirty water, you can have stomach ache and you can have diarrhea or even fall sick. So make sure that all through you are drinking clean water. It is good for our health. So these are the ways you can tell that water is contaminated. So take your book with your pencil I'm going to write for you some work on the blackboard, copy it and make sure that you, will, you are going to answer the questions. Now the assignment number one. Water dash is making water dirty. The answers are in the brackets. Dirtification, contamination. 
You will choose the correct answer and fill in the blank space. Question 2. Drinking dirty water is dashed to our health. Good, bad. You write the answer in the blank space. And lastly, contaminated water has a dash smell. Good or bad. So you write for me the correct answer in the blank spaces. Make sure that you go through the work after you have answered it. So hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.